No, what are we hiding from? <laughs> if you're a scaredy cat, then you might want to stay away from these top 10 most terrifying dining experiences. I'm scared! I'm scared! Ah, oh, it's nighttime. Vampire Cafe. The manager's a vampire. I knew it. If you feel like celebrating Halloween all year long, or you simply want to sink your teeth into some delicious Japanese food, look no further than the eerie, freaky Vampire Cafe. Located in Tokyo, don't be fooled by the ordinary-looking building. The Vampire Cafe is definitely not for everyone. Let's just say that Count Dracula wouldn't need to be in Transylvania to feel right at home. With a ghoulish gothic decor, dim lighting, blood-red walls, skulls all around, and a coffee Often as the piece de resistance, it's the perfect place to go if you're looking for a spooky evening. Spooky. And if you ever need to go to the restroom, don't be alarmed. The blood-splattered mirrors and sinks are there on purpose. On the menu, you will find things like devil-cut chicken steak, served with a steak sticking out of it, and cross toast, which consists of pastry crosses with salmon mousse. That's only for the food. Now on to the cocktails. The Bloody Rose is a must-try, as well as the Iron Maiden, all sure to satisfy any bloodsucker. The servers bring you your or food dressed up as vampires. They even speak like vampires, just to add a touch of authenticity. The only thing is, don't expect to find any garlic in your food. Talk like a vampire. Knox, dying in the dark. Are you afraid of the dark? Nowadays, most people will snap a picture of their delicious-looking meal and post it on Instagram to get other people's mouths watering. And honestly, it works almost every time. However, with this particular restaurant, you won't be able to make anyone jealous. At least not with your beautifully plated food. Why? Because Knox in Singapore is all about eating in complete darkness. Indeed, this imaginative, unique restaurant describes itself as a high-end, multi-sensory dining experience that will tantalize your taste buds and open your mind through taste, smell, touch, and sound. Eating in a pitch black room allows the diners to really focus on the food they're eating and not on how aesthetic it looks. I mean, he's sitting over there in the dark eating ketchup off crackers. While this culinary journey doesn't seem like a never-seen-before genius idea, it also comes with its own fear factor. Having no idea what you're eating until the very end of your meal can be alarming for some, which is why Knox isn't necessarily recommended for picky and messy eaters. To truly enjoy your meal, you need to be able to overcome your fear of the unknown and learn to trust the cooks. Oh, and obviously, practice eating with your eyes closed. That's always helpful. This salad's fantastic. So fresh. Dinner in the sky. <sighs> I'm scared of heights, Jake. When it comes to food, the sky's the limit. And apparently, this particular restaurant takes this very seriously. Dinner in the Sky is an out-of-this-world dining experience that's determined to offer a delicious and yet terrifying dinner for every brave soul willing to be strapped into chairs and be lifted into the air. The rectangular table, along with the diners, is raised by a crane to 180 feet, which is enough to give vertigo to anyone. Over the last decade, this Belgian-based novelty restaurant service has hosted over 5,000 events, business meetings, and even weddings in over 60 countries and high-profile cities, such as Paris, Dubai, Las Vegas, and Sydney. Gourmet meals, as well as tasty cocktails, are served to the guests as they take in the breathtaking view and try not to get too dizzy. Oh no! I almost forgot I'm scared of heights! Of course, safety is the number one priority, and the staff always make sure that everyone is always perfectly strapped in. However, just like you probably have already guessed, this dinner in the sky experience doesn't come cheap. In Las Vegas, for example, a dinner for one person will be around $300. Sure, you get a four-star restaurant service, but still, if you're not into heights, you might want to skip this one. Why are you hesitating? It's fine, it's just never been this high before. Five Fisherman Restaurant. Your fisherman muscles. Can I touch? On the outside, this restaurant looks rather normal. There's nothing really scary about it. That is, until you find out what the building used to be. Open since the 1970s in Halifax, Nova Scotia, the Five Fisherman restaurant specializes in fresh food from the sea, like mussels and oysters, and gives off a very serene and classic vibe. But back in the day, it wasn't a restaurant, it was a morgue. But not just any morgue, it was the one that prepared the bodies for most of the victims from the Titanic disaster 
in 1912. It also received the 2,000 people who perished just five years later after two ships collided and exploded in Halifax Harbor. Because of its troubled past, the Five Fishermen restaurant has attracted a lot of paranormal investigators and ghost hunters from around the globe, trying to catch a ghost in action. A g -g 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 ghost Many members of the staff and customers have reported some supernatural encounters, all sounding scarier than the last. If dining in a haunted place sounds like something you'd want to do, by all means, pay a visit. There's nothing quite like a chill running down your spine every time you take a bite of your food, right? I have chills. Chills. Forteza Medicia. So, how about that hospital food, huh? It's common knowledge that food in big institutions is usually not the best. Schools, hospitals, and even prisons don't have the best reputations. However, in Volterra, Italy, the latter isn't always so true, at least not at Forteza Medicia. What began as a social experiment in 2006 has now become one of the most exclusive restaurants in Italy. Forteza Medicia is staffed entirely by some of the most hardened criminals who are serving from seven years to life. They handle everything from service to cooking and are trained by professional guest chefs. Housed in a 13th century castle serving as a high security prison, the idea behind Forteza Medicia is to allow the inmates to gain job skills and interact with the world outside the prison. Everyone get the prison job but me. <laughs> This once-in-a-lifetime dining opportunity happens only eight nights a year, and the tables are always booked weeks in advance. To make a reservation, you need to go through a thorough background check and get approval from the Italian Department of Justice. As for when you get to the restaurant, you will need to have your ID in hand, surrender your cell phone, and pass through a metal detector. As you enjoy your tasty Italian food, you will be watched by guards patrolling the perimeter and security cameras to ensure you stay safe at all times. Even though it might seem stressful to eat with so many guards around you, apparently guests usually get used to it pretty quickly and forget all about it. Well, I'm not used to it. Ninja New York I'm a ninja, everybody! I'm doing ninja stuff now! The famous Ninja New York is a wacky, theatrical Tribeca Japanese restaurant where servers dress up as, yes, ninjas, and do tricks to entertain the crowd, like jump out of hidden doors or disappear in clouds of smoke. Of course, the whole staff is properly trained and paid to do these tricks, as well as tipped 20% of your total bill. The restaurant is based in an underground space meant to look like a feudal-era Japanese Japanese village with dark and curving corridors, elegant woodwork, and sturdy stone walls. The very first thing you're asked when you get to the entrance is if you want to take the safe path or the dangerous ninja path to your private dining chamber. If you jump scare easily, may we suggest you steer clear of the dangerous path, unless you don't mind a ninja or two popping out of nowhere to scare the bejesus out of you. Option one, option one! As for the food, it consists of Japanese dishes, only with some some theatrics in the presentation. Anything from sushi, sashimi, to teriyaki chicken, all presented with explosions, swords, and fire. But since all good things must come to an end, after a 15-year run, Ninja New York closed its doors permanently last year, leaving many fans dismayed. Ninja style. The new lucky restaurant. Well, I'm feeling lucky. Because one haunted restaurant was not enough for this list of terrifying dining experiences, here is the new lucky restaurant in Ahmedabad, India. Everyone who knows even a little bit about horror movies knows that building something on a burial ground is a terrible idea. But for restaurateur Krishnan Kuti, it just seemed like the perfect place to set up camp. Only he knew better. In order to avoid upsetting the spirits and disturb the dead, he decided to build his restaurant around the burial site, aka leaving the casket-like tombstones intact. Yeah, so as you dine, the only thing separating you from the graves are steel bars. And I've lost my appetite. But aside from keeping the original structure of the place while trying to not upset anyone buried there, Kuti also believes that the coffins are good luck and that the business is actually better because of the graveyard experience. Every morning, the graves are wiped down and decorated with fresh flowers, making sure to pay respect. If you ain't afraid of no ghost, then a visit to the new lucky restaurant might be very enjoyable. We hear the chai tea is to die for. <laughs> good one. Modern toilet. You guys could become the neighborhood toilet.
The last place you want to end up when you're eating at a restaurant is on the toilet. That would just mean your meal was less than desirable. However, at this restaurant, the toilet is brought right to your table. Indeed, Modern Toilet, a bathroom-themed restaurant chain launched in Taiwan in 2006, is not afraid to take some risks when it comes to the presentation of its food. Every meal, from noodles to desserts, is served in little potties, in the most appetizing way possible, of course. Thankfully, the toilet bowls have never been used for anything besides food, but still. As for beverages, they are served in a plastic urinal cup, which you can take home with you as a souvenir. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. The decor is full of plunger lamps with poop-shaped bulbs, shower heads hanging from the ceilings, and of course, toilets instead of regular chairs. You would think that a restaurant based entirely around poop wouldn't be such a huge success and even a little scary for some, yet Modern Toilet welcomes thousands of customers every single day. There must be something about the beauty of bathrooms that just draws people in. Whatever it is, if you don't mind being surrounded by toilet bowls as you enjoy your food, this this is the place for you. We'll eat while standing over the sink or toilet. Eat the Undersea Restaurant. Under the sea. This next dining room can either be magical or creepy, depending on your take on the ocean and its wonders. Ita Undersea Restaurant, located deep down in the Indian Ocean, probably offers one of the most beautiful backdrops you could ever ask for while enjoying a meal. It's the world's first underwater restaurant and the world's largest aquarium tunnel, engineered by the Kuala Lumpur National Science Center. Ita was originally built in Singapore before being lowered 16 feet into the sea off the shores of the Conrad Maldives Rangali Island Resort in the Maldives. The acrylic curved undersea building offers guests a 180 degree panoramic view of the ocean filled with colorful coral reefs, sea turtles, stingrays, and massive sharks. Sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. The menu obviously consists of things freshly collected from your surroundings, from squid to caviar. Forget about catch of the day, this is more like catch of the moment. Again, such pretty decor doesn't come free, and the meals aren't the cheapest, but the view is worth every penny. To dine five meters below the surface of the ocean, all you need to do is make a reservation, fly to the Maldives, and take an hour-long seaplane ride from the airport, and voila, you're under the sea. If a little water doesn't scare you, we suggest you make your move quickly. Since the Ita is being crushed by the ocean, even as we speak, it isn't expected to still be there in 20 years. Where are we? We're in the damn ocean! Heart Attack Grill. Oh my god, people, she's having a heart attack! A cute little heart attack! This one might just be one of the most terrifying restaurants so far, not only in terms of decor, but also in terms of food. Heart Attack Grill, situated in downtown Las Vegas, is a kind of creepy, hospital-themed restaurant all about the glorification of an unhealthy diet. Even though heart disease is the leading cause of death in America, this burger joint embraces it. John Bass so, or Dr. John, chief surgeon as he is referred to, used to work in the weight loss biz, which is pretty ironic when you think about it. No, I get the irony, that's not the issue. He came up with the concept for Heart Attack Grill in 2006, and from that moment on, the sins just kept on coming. Customers can put on gowns and act as the patients, while waitresses dressed up as sexy nurses serve them. That's already a little unsettling, but the worst part is the menu. Even if Basso keeps telling everyone to stop coming to his restaurant because it will kill them, there are still some people who can't seem to get enough. You will find gigantic burgers with up to four pounds of beef and a generous amount of calories to match. For instance, the quadruple bypass burger, drowned in chili, packs a whopping 9,983 calories, which is enough to feed five grown men for an entire day. You also get your hands on butterfat milkshakes, fries cooked in lard, and even candy cigarettes. Everything to promote bad decisions. I'm having a heart attack! Ack, 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 ack. You ought to know by now! We're open 24-7, so tap or click another great video and hit that subscribe button. And hey, leave us a comment!